Hey, it's Lee and welcome back to my channel. So for today's Tuesday Trade Tips, we are going to talk about 11 things to remember during the food tasting, okay? Shall we begin? Forget the day we met, your eyes so blue, me pressing through. I can't forget the day we met, your smile so bright, it made me small. Personally, I love food tasting because I get to taste different types of food. Well, food from the different caterers. Plus, I love the way they usually present it. Most of them have an artistic twist in how they present their food. So, so it's visually and um, also for the. It's good for the palate at the same time. So, for this uh, Tuesday trade tips, we are going to remember eleven things that we should think about when we go on with our food tasting. All right. First up, do um, the reason why it's very important that um, we do it during a bridal fair. Well, it's up to you if you want to do it in a bridal fair or um, there's a food uh, food tasting, a uh, general food tasting event by a uh, caterer. Is because usually that's the time when you will see how they actually uh, present. Uh, Bridal fairs, huge bridal fairs, uh, usually has like, this part where in the caterers are some caterers, like three or four caterers, are actually um, have their own sections, and then you would see their food in a buffet already. Not only is only food <laughs> during that time, it's also the time when they can give you great discounts as well, great discounts, great promos, and those stuff. Uh, most of the time, they would um, not. In most of the cases, when I'm with my clients, that is when uh, the caterers would uh, would like wave some stuff. And um, example, they can allow you to upgrade a bit, like upgrade from a like a two um, from a salad at the time uh, from a salad only to a complete salad bar or from just having pasta they can give you a pasta bar or for a dessert as well they can provide you like a dessert bar instead of just dessert so it's really up to the type of caterer that you have that's why it's good with, uh, it's good when you're doing it during the bridal fair um, aside from that um, for general food tasting usually uh, some caterers would go to a venue. They um, they part of the venue, and then they they would also show you. Or they can uh, be the only uh, or call this be the only uh, caterer there during that time. But at least that time they can focus on you more or something. So for me, it's good if the same thing. You would still get good discounts during that time for a general food tasting or a bridal fair so uh, that's one thing and but do also ask just in case all right um, just to make sure we don't leave any stones unturned um, also ask the caterer if aside from this are you able to uh, have another uh, food tasting this time when after you do the contract you surely ask you to choose the food that you like so most caterers allow you to have that a a uh, food tasting on your own at their office or something like that. So they will ask you to choose the type of food that you like, and then you will taste that food on a separate plate. All right. So that's for number one. Number two, um, do not eat before uh, the uh, food tasting because basically. For me personally, based from my experience, they give a lot of food. Like, if you're going to a bridal fair and then um, you were one of those who were who registered, so usually they have a like complete buffet, so it's only food. So yeah, eat all you can. It's like eat all you can, of course. And then even if you uh, you are already um, eating on your specific food in food tasting, up. Uh, they usually really serve you um, in good servings actually good for two sometimes good for three depending on how many people um, 
they allowed you to bring also like usually it's already it makes me full that's why i don't actually eat during uh before food tasting because they really serve all the different types of food for you so that you can taste them so that's usually for caterers um also well also for for some for some um hotels also who has their in-house chef as well or venture at that so they really present to you so if you've seen the picture this was during patio victoria so currently i am in patio victoria and this is where the food tasting for today will be done okay so we have this little room I want to have a little food taste. As you can see, we actually have the different food in front of us. Alright? So that's why you're not supposed to eat. Because before going there because they're gonna give you a good amount of food. Right. Bihira yung some plate. May ganun, may ganun supplier na plate lang or something. Sundo na lahat which is actually not good but yun nga depends sa caterer nyo. Yung the supplier yun nga. Also better that um, you you do it um prior to the uh, you do this food tasting preferably lunch time or dinner or at least before lunch or before dinner but it's like eating uh, two birds and one stones right so diba lubos lubos niya na like i have this flight for march 3 2023 next year um we already scheduled the thing well since they were given like a um free villa of the last time they can sleep at the villa for free for two nights so what we decided like um their food tasting and detailing was um before they check in the villa and then the following day is the prenup something like that so they did it as part of their lunch time so they don't have to buy lunch outside so yun lang din. you just have to hit two birds in one stone so, nakapag lunch ka na hindi ka pag as of sa dinner naman it Madalas, this one is usually pag um, hotel. So for yung mga panggabi namin, mga gabi, usually sa in, in hotel diba may in-house. Uh, usually, um, mayroon silang in-house restaurant. Usually sila yung nag-ana nag ng food. So usually ganun ang nangyayari. So usually ang dinner time is pag mga restaurant. Tapos yung for uh, caterers, madalas it's lunch time. Kasi minsan, Hanggang 5 o'clock yung office nila, ganun lang. Pero pag usually sa hotel, they have the luxury since they have the venue. They also have uh, in-house naman yung cook nila and plus may restaurant naman sila. So, dun. Yun. Kaya minsan, pwede silang dinner. Tanun yung muna sa caterer kung pwede magdala ng additional person. Kasi minsan yung couple maganda rin may another opinion kaya so usually you ask that kung pwede yan sa caterer pero again you have to ask them kung pwede kung, hindi, kung pwede hanggang ilan in kasi minsan dalawa tatlo in invite minsan ganun um or kung yun nga kung pwede di sana again tanong nyo rin kung may bayad yun one it's good sana kasi na may third person usually um ako ako yung nagiging third person ng couple because they also value my opinion regarding this pero kasi usually third person then is or another person's perspective is usually to tie to be the tiebreaker for the two couples then and also an outside um an outside opinion as well of um maybe me ma suggest the during the um during the food tasting like uh, there are things that as a coordinator also kaya maganda din na nandun ako kasi there are some things that I can ask 
you have to be on time. Well, actually, as much as possible, nga, hindi lang naman sa food taste. Pero sana lahat sa whether it's food taste or whatnot. Um, be on time or be early. Kasi minsan may mga caterers na pag dumating ka doon, doon pa lang kasi talaga nila lulutuin. Kasi syempre, ayaw nila mas sacrifice yung taste. Um, so, as much as possible, be on time. Alright? So, yun lang. Don't expect na luto na kagad. Hindi kasi, it, it doesn't work most of the time like that. Usually, although may nakahandang mga pieces na, so, para madali ng luto. Eh, pero yun nga, as much as possible, they cook it when uh, you're ready for that one already. Tapos, yun. So, that's why you have to be on time or be early na lang din. At saka so that you can have more, um, more time to talk to your cater. Lalo na ko if you have questions. Yun. So, if you're all so far away from the caterer's office, um, I have this client, kasi salabang sala, and then they chose one of the clients who is located in Bandam, Florida. So, parang ang hirap when if they go, well, I think they went there na lang parang yung sa second food tasting, sa detailing na lang, pero as much as possible. Um, ananas, or call this. So, ang ginawa is, dinala yung food doon sa venue. Hindi sa bahay, pero sa venue. Uh, kasi ang layo, tandang sura, tapos alabang, di ba? So, this was for the movie store. So, the venue was Versailles, Versailles Palace. So, this is Versailles since uh, one of their accredited cater yung kinuha namin. Yun, may uh, din nag-food tasting. So, nagdala ng food. Pero yung nga, uh, still, you have to be earned. <laughs> Kasi syempre, ayun nila masira yung food. So, yun lang din. Tapos, what else? So, yun lang din. So, minsan naman, like, during one of the baptism parties that we handled, kasi kapapanganak lang nung, nung mom. So, it was a cater who went to the house. So, para matikman yung food. Yun, ganun. To hit two birds in one stone, um, minsan we... I suggest most of the time with uh, uh, with a couple do- na kung pwedeng ano nga, diba? Sabay na natin detailing. So, preferably sabay siya para diba? Aside from di- ano, food tasting, the the account manager who's handling um, their event can already show some pictures. Ganyan. So, uh, one of my favorite places talaga when food tasting in seasons kasi doon so, food tasting kami, tos, they, they have this sort of rolls of different uh, tablecloths. Tablecloths nila sa gilid. Plus, they have different types of bases already. Parang pinapakita nila. Parang pinatong-patong yung mga, uh, yung runner, yung ganun. Nakikita namin yung itsura. So, pwedeng, kasi sa, ang maganda sa season is pwedeng mag-mix and match dun sa design. So, yun yung ando rin. So, kaya, kung meron kayong, like, um, a uh, cater like zones, diba? So, maganda yung ganun. So, hindi sayang yung oras nyo. Kaya, minsan din sa seasons, parang, we, we do the detailing usually after, pero yung iba, gusto before that. So, parang, hindi sayang sa oras, diba? Sayang din, hindi rin sayang sa pagpunta. Yun din. Yung sa ano, sana you, you take note also of the type of guests that you have with regards to food. Kasi minsan, baka may allergic or whatso- whatsoever. And minsan, you have to consider, minsan, di ba, may vegetarian, ganon. So, minsan, you have a special food for them or lactose intolerance, ganon. So, minsan, you have to consider your guests. Also, not just that, not just those specific ones, minsan, isa, di ba? There are food na gusto mo elegant ang lasa, elegant a presentation, elegant yung... Uh, menu, di ba? Using ganun. Or chill-chill lang ba yung ano, menu? So, parang gagawin mo bang simple yung everything? So, so kayo pong bahala. Kasi, kunyari, I have this um, I have this client na medyo may edad na. So, parang because most of their guests are may, mm, may edad din. So, as much as possible. The food is a little bit classy. Hindi basta food na normal. So, they made sure na um, medyo magandang dating at saka hindi ka nakakormon. Or, you have clients din na because it's in theme, na Filipiniana food, 
like I have this call I have this couple na they want a Filipino na so ang food nila nila talo ng pagkalmo fiesta yun they have that so yun yun pag sa food tasting make sure uh, you also know if there are things na you need to change I mean like yung last na jo uh, is it plant friend na wala kang matakot that's the purpose of the food tasting. Usually, they, they have naman the, the evaluation sheet and usually kung may comments ka so that the chef who on the day would take note of it, what they can do so that they can adjust it to your taste. Yun. So, take note what are the things you want to change. Alright? So, okay, matak. That's your guide. Wedding na yun eh. So, yun yun. Okay? Okay, for the last one is regarding this, kung you have since like it for me because it's a caterer sempre they handled other events na lalo na the season uh, account managers the but they can suggest to you some things tapos if um like I think the one in Patty Victor the one that's why something I like it kasi minsan like yung and there are things like yung like sa Patty Victor we were uh, we asked kasi medyo diba from yung wedding kasi na I'm on um, kasi mangyayari is parang ceremony and the reception doon sa Sofia Banquet Hall. So, iniisip ng couple kung maglalagay ba sila ng ano, mag, magmamamon para at least diba habang, habang hinihintay nung sa reception yun, di ba may post na sa after ceremony? Hindi ba gugutin yung guest? So, ang sinagos, tap, eh, tapos dalaw yung appetizer, which ang maganda kasi dito, pwede naman na iserve yung, yung soup and the appetizer which was uh, Lumpian Shanghai. Um, yun lang yun din. Tapos, I remember may discussion yun na parang mas, they can serve it. Yun din. Usually, kasi ang appetizer so, hindi, may hotel, like we had one hotel na dun yung reception. They cannot serve the soup. Kailangan sabay talaga lahat. So, parang ganun. So, with there are instances na there are caterers who allows now sige yung soup isa sure mo na may parga so minsan kung pwedeng ganun so during cocktail uh, cocktail hour habang hinihintay yung couple minsan pwede yun yung parang at least yung uminit yung siya ng guest or diba habang kumakain may mainit lang na kakain so I think the the one for Patty Victor they suggested something okay something ano something soup top sige yung yung ano din um ay hindi eh, eh, sana just in yung, yung oh, pwede mo man parang hindi din makakalat or something so something like that so they can suggest something and also if there are things that you need to see regards to the food tanong nyo muna diba baka may option kayo magpalitan or something so again don't be afraid to ask them alright So that's for our um, Tuesday tray tips for today. So I hope when you do your food tasting, these are some things that you have to take note when you talk to your caterers and um, chef, whoever is pairing up. Make the most of it. It's your wedding. And uh, for me, as much as possible, it will not just reflect you, but hopefully your guests also enjoys it. Remember, Ang pinam minsan na alala ng guests is the food they eat and also syempre, yung experience then aside from the day for them. So the food then the bum minsan yun ang minsan yun yung nila. So hopefully um, the insight that I share with you is based from experience as well. And um, if you know some other things that I would like to tackle in my future Tuesday trade tips, please do so. Please uh, feel free to message us in Winsevents as well or Katie Page, alright? So again, this is Lee Kondangan from Events Management and you're watching Tuesday Trade Tips.